With the space shuttle, the day of regularly scheduled trips to space is close at hand. But the shuttle is limited. After going to space, it must return to Earth for fuel, supplies, oxygen, and the like. NASA is now looking to augment the shuttle with a permanent manned presence in space, a space station. The Soviets have kept one in space since 1971, Soyuz 6 and then Soyuz 7. But what NASA is looking at could be far more impressive. What we're seeing here are uh, elements that make up a space station. In this particular concept, we see an energy module with the solar arrays and the uh, radi radiators that is used to radiate the excess heat. By 1991, we hope to have the real thing, an honest-to-God space station that could look like this, or this, or this, and it will cost a lot of money. Well, the initial stages of the space station deployment are probably somewhere between three and five billion dollars. Actually, NASA officials don't know what a space station should look like yet. We've never built one before. And so that's the first step. To uh, determine the, uh, the architecture, so to speak, of uh, what a station uh, needs in terms of uh, uh, support modules, of living quarters, of uh, the, the level of energy that uh, you need to run a station. Once NASA decides what a space station should be, how to deal with human capabilities, systems technology, they face the next battle. That is convincing a budget-wise Congress and American public that billions of dollars need to be spent for another major program. In Hampton, I'm Ed Hazel with the Daily News.